Hey, good morning friends, Mark Holmes here, and as always, thank you guys for watching, commenting, and subscribing to the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, man, you know this doesn't work. This is, let's pick on a red skin morning here. How you doing? How you doing today? You know, I, you know, I hadn't really focused much on the Washington Redskins schedule. We play them second week of the season. You guys, I went out. I was so happy. I, I wanted some barbecued hog. I went out and I cleaned out my smoker yesterday, fired it up just to get some smoke and stuff on there. Just because the second game of the season is our Dallas Cowboys versus the Redskins. And then as I was coming down here to see my cousin, you know, we're over here doing a little stuff at his house and stuff. I started looking at the Washington Redskins schedule and listening to Doc Walker's show on uh, Sports Talk 980. And it was funny because some Redskins fans out there, I don't know if this is if you're one of these or not, they're looking at their schedule and they're thinking, we're 12 and 4. Who? 12 and 4. Some of the fans, no, 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 the Redskins. Some of the... <laughs> Some of the Redskins fans were saying that they see them, that, that it's an easy schedule, they're going to be 12-4. I will say that they do have a soft underbelly in the middle of the season because it's crazy because after, I think, week five, you don't play another division game until, like, week 13. Mm -hmm. But but here's what the Redskins have starting out the season. No quarterback. Wait, wait, wait. Philadelphia, Dallas, Chicago, then the Giants. Then New England. I mean, if you look at that, you got four that's, playoffs. That's, that's four playoff teams. Right. In, a division, in the first five games. Shit. They said, somebody said they're going to go to what? 12 and what? 12 and 4. I'm a real skins fan with you. I mean, you, you got to get it real. We ain't got a goddamn quarterback. Who going to throw the ball? Who going to catch the ball? Yes. Look. <laughs> My son, no better than that. God damn. Oh, but I, I, you know, I'm, I'm gonna. Sit, this is gonna be my first. Time. I'm gonna sit down here in the home theater here because twelve and four. Rick Walker didn't say that. Well, his whole thing was is listen, all this stuff means nothing, and which is true. Yeah, it don't mean it don't because you know you look at a team that last year was good that this year isn't doing. It. Because you can think of, let's say, uh, Atlanta Falcons. When you looked at Atlanta Falcons on the schedule, you said, oh, man, you know, for us, we had to play Atlanta in Atlanta. You know, you're talking about, you know, Julio Jones. Um, you're talking about uh, Calvin Ridley getting drafted. You're talking about Sanu. You said, damn, a in Atlanta, that that's going to be a tough game, right? But Atlanta was a shit. I'm, I'm sorry, excuse me, like, but they ended up going downhill. Um and there's a lot of teams like that. You looked at Minnesota. You thought Minnesota. Oh man, they got Kirk Cousins. Kirk Cousins is Kirk Cousins. Uh, that that there was going to be a single right team, right? You got paid, bro. You, you, got you, paid. you thought about Green Bay. Oh, okay. Now Aaron Rodgers is back healthy. Automatically, they're a playoff team. And and that's what's funny. Here's what kills me. Already they say that Green Bay is uh, going to win the division. I think they were saying they're going to be. They were Chicago. I think yeah. I think I think they were saying because they, they had the preseason forecast. They have them, I think, at eleven and five or ten and six, oh, winning no, the division. Chicago will beat the Braves on them. Here, here's another crazy one. They've got the Browns eleven and five. Nah, they 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 they, they win more than two two. What they won? Two games last year. No, I, think they, I think they won like four games. They won four a games. couple of them. They'd be lucky. It'd be good if they go eight and eight. But they, they, they still they, got they're not Pittsburgh division. and you know, they're not winning the division. You can cast Chris. They had uh, you guys at eight and eight. That's more. That's more realistic for us. Yeah, because you. Got, I mean, we got Buffalo. You let me listen. Yeah. Oh, I, I'll take care of Pat. Ain't no problem. The lights work. The the light. Look, electricity extraordinary. Okay, so they they're saying that. Um, uh, shoot, I think I was going to ask you about. Oh, about the Redskins, twelve and four. What do you think of the Redskins' chances of going twelve and four? Well, that's what they're saying. That's what NFL was forecasting. So it's like, it's like the Browns. Where you, they'll make All right, the playoffs, so, but they're not going. Well, the Browns might not make the playoffs. I'm, I'm just saying, though. They got to go through Baltimore. I'm, I'm, I'm just saying, though. They're saying 12 and, what is it, 12 and 4, 11 and 5. No. That, that's, that's on your list. What was that schedule? Eight, eight, eight. What was that record last year? They were one game, you, one game it was, under 500. It, one game what, under 500. What are you, 7 and 9? 
We seven nine last year. Something like yeah, that. Yeah, the Browns won one game. We'd be lucky if we get eight made. All right, so there's um. You want to draft a quarterback, or do you want to go for Arizona's quarterbacks? The, the, here's, I mean, a, here's, a thing, here's a good thing, at least, if you did go for Arizona's quarterback, is he's still that rookie deal. He, he'll, he'll save some money. Save money. But I don't know that he's going to but, but what did Arizona see in him for them to give up on him already? And he was a number one draft pick. In one year. You know, so. Well, I mean, you, you, where it, we at now? We, but we but need, look, you've got John Gruden who may be giving up on Derek Carr. And I don't they, want Derek Carr. No, I'm not saying that you. I don't want Derek Carr. But it, it's funny how people look back, and it was so funny because everybody was talking about how much better Derek Carr was than Dak Prescott. And Man, you know, that but, but, whole, but that it, whole thing. See, I'm, I'm, I'm we old school. We first integrating everything. All that is is black and white. I'm gonna call it what it is. Uh, I, uh, I'm gonna leave the color out of it, but it, 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 you you do have a okay. uh, you have a point. Look at his number. I, Whose numbers was better? If you ain't but a point or well, two better, but then I tell you what. If, here's what because I remember that Falcons fan that that he just stopped. I'm, I'm glad he finally just stopped. But I remember him talking about in the top 100 last year, Derek Carr was 55 and Dak Prescott wasn't in it. Your quarterback sucks. But you know what's funny is they had identical touchdown passes. Dak even had one less interception on what was considered a down year. But the perception was Derek Carr is a better quarterback. He's 55 in the top 100. Dak's not a top 100. Let me, let me, let me cut you off. Derek Carr is no better than his brother who won NFL oh. Network. Jeans is jeans, okay? Oh, it is what it is. He, he went there with that. You know, it is, his, brother, his brother doing announcements. So that's I, what his ass gonna be at. I gotta tell you, I ain't no damn cowboy fan, but man, I take Dak over him any day. I, I gotta tell you that this is really nice sitting in these chairs. Yeah, this is this is the, the makings of his man cave here. Yeah, this is comfortable. Yeah, this is a lot more comfortable than my place. Yeah. I'm gonna have to bring the smoker down here. I ain't got no problem. And the deep fryer bring some. You know, we, we can travel. Go from you know you know what used to be with my parents my, my dad and stuff growing up. This, I forgot about this, but what they used to do was they would go from house to house, house, to house. Oh, you know from one weekend to the next. So it would be you know my house one weekend is going to be at Dave's house the next yeah. weekend and stuff. And maybe we need to bring that back. What do you think? I, I, I know your daughter be happy with me coming here with some chicken oh, yeah, wings. Yeah, she loves them chicken wings and the cold flaw. Well, I tell you what, we're going to. Uh, for the draft. We're going to do a draft party. We're going to be at Lucky's on Thursday night. But Friday and Saturday, we're doing a draft show from my house. Oh, I'll be there. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and buy a case of chicken wings. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to get a couple pork shoulders to smoke. And so we're going to do a, you know, we're going to hang out and stuff at the house. But 12 and 4. So what's your prediction for your team? I mean, uh, being realistic, we don't have a quarterback. I have to wait to see the quarterback that's what Doc Walker we, said. We That's got, exactly we, what we Doc said. No, we, we don't have a receiver. Only good thing we got is, hell, our line ain't even healthy. I was going to say, what good thing do the Redskins have? The only good thing we got, we got it, is... It ain't uh, a coach. It's, 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 oh, it's AP. Yeah. And the reason I say that is because of his name. It's the same as mine. Peterson. Well, here's what's an interesting still, too. Is they're predicting the Eagles to win the division? Oh, the Eagles at, 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 they're saying eleven and five, the and they're saying the Cowboys nine and seven. The, I mean, I I, I hate I, I hate to say it, but look at the stuff right now. Dallas will probably win the division. I don't like saying that, you know. You, my stomach bumping up, my pad gas for that. But the thing that worries me no is his expectations. Fifth quarterback is not going to stay healthy. He ain't been healthy since he's been in the league. That he ain't been helped. You're right about that one. And 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 and, and, and New York, they dealing with a uh, uh, Manning. So or not? Oh, he gonna be there. They gotta pay that money. Now, I ain't paying him that much money to sit on the bench. Yeah. So to protect his ass, he'll be all right. He better than what we got. He ain't shit now. Well, they got Barkley. They can run the ball. Yeah, they got. Yeah, they got the young boy. And they, got, and they got rid of that And they've got 12 picks. Oh, shit. 
yeah. along with New England. That, that's that, that's what kills me. New England's got Dang. three picks in the top 100. How they do that shit? They've learned. This is what they've learned, and and my Cowboys have learned this too. You know, they're always letting you know all these big name players go. No. They never. We never. New England never has the Dallas Cowboys discussion like Demarcus Lawrence or Des Bryant paying. Because here's what you realize, and the Cowboys finally are getting into this game. If you lose a big name free agent, you know, with a big salary, and they sign a big contract elsewhere, you're going to get a compensatory pick in return. Oh, okay. Okay, so right now, now here's what's crazy. For next year, right now, compensatory picks, they have two threes and a six for New England. And if they cut one of four players, if he doesn't make it throughout the whole season, they'll get another six round. So that's where they're able to grab extra players in the draft. And so that's where, so, so for our Cowboys, they've been born up. So Randall Cobb is a one year deal. Um, Robert Quinn is a one year deal. If Robert Quinn, let's say he goes out and gets 10 sacks and the Cowboys don't re sign him and he goes signs a boatload contract elsewhere, as long as the Cowboys don't sign a free agent whose contract is valued as much, you're going to get like a third or fourth round compensatory pick back. And that's how these teams are able to go. So, you know, I got to go patch this hole to take care of this other thing. But it, it's that's the new name of the game now in the NFL. Yeah, that's, that's, and see, that's where, you know, when it comes to the fight, they're, they're, they're using the AR-15. What, AR-15? AR-15 where, you know, the Redskins are bringing a knife. Okay. So, time for me to get to work, guys. But are you happy about the season coming up? Now how did some bitch start no. That's possibly one in four. If you lucky. Yeah, I'll be the guy. One in four. I'll see you guys.